What's up YouTube? Happy Monday. We have another card video today. We're going to officially go through the rest of my rookie cards. I know Monday is usually minor league Monday, you guys, and I need to address this in a video. I can't really do it every week right now. I'm doing it every other-ish just because the minor leagues aren't happening. They didn't happen, and it's off-season right now. I don't want to throw out false information. There's only so many prospects that I can really truly believe in, and I feel like if I just keep doing it every single week, it's not real, real. Like I feel like I've put out my favorite guys now, and I'm like finding myself searching lists, like looking through stats. Like I want to be really real for this, so like, of course, once the minor leagues start playing again, I'll be doing a lot more different things. Like, I'm really excited. I'm super excited for the minor league season, but for now, we're going to be doing about every other week. With that said, let's look at some rookie cards. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It helped me out a ton. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys found any value in me looking through my rookie cards? I feel like I found a lot of good stuff. Like, this is where we left off at in the last video. Aaron Nola Rainbow flagship. Like, I'm really happy with that. He's one of the better pitchers in the league. So let's we'll see if we can find another gem in this video. We have a lot to look through still, so I'm going to move at a pretty quick pace. But let's do it. So Dodgers again. Looks like we have... See, this is how, like, not knowledgeable I was in 2017, you guys. Like, this is my first year collecting, if you didn't see the last video. <laughs> I have two rookie cups here. I have Sepia, Kenta Maeda. We have Topps Chrome. Julio Urias rookie cup, and then we also have his flagship in there. I always thought Carlos Frias was going to be good because he threw gas, but he never turned out to be too much. Rookie debut, Corey Seager. More Phillies here. Aaron Nola, Gypsy Queen blue border. I don't know if that's numbered or what. Nope. But that's a cool card, actually. I like that. That's pretty dope. Goes with the red pretty well. Um, man, Odubo Herrera, future stars. Thought that dude was going to be a star too. But he's stupid. Jorge Alfaro, not bad. Royals. Scott Alexander, he still plays. Um, Hunter Dozier out of Ginter. Alex Gordon, rookie card. Look at that. That's not bad. That's actually kind of cool. Wow, Rhino Hearn, draft picks. Didn't expect to see that today. Some A's. Jarrell Cotton, I thought he was going to be a lot better. Same with Ryan Healy. Renato Nunez again. Some Cardinals. Jeremy Hazelbaker. I remember this dude was on the D-backs for a year and did really well, and he just never really got a chance for whatever reason. Like, he always seemed to do good in the pros. I don't know. That was weird. I thought. Luke Weaver, flagship, nice. Two more Luke Weavers. I like those a lot because I'm a D-backs fan. And I absolutely love watching Luke Weaver pitch, like, honestly. He's really good. He has really good stuff. I really think he can be an ace in this league. And he showed a little bit of that in 2019. But 2020, he did struggle. He couldn't get past, like, the fourth inning for whatever reason. It was weird. But his stuff is electric, straight up. Like, he was topping out at 98 after Tommy John. So, I'm really excited for Luke Weaver. Some Rays. We got the rookie debuts. Two of Blake Snell. Jose De Leon more. Nothing crazy. A Silver of whoever Casey Gillespie is. Some Mets. We have a Michael Conforto rookie. Travis Darno flagships. I should probably sell those. That dude is probably as, as good as he's ever going to get right now with what he did in a postseason. I'm, I'm probably going to pull those out and, and sell them. Um, Gesellman. Mariners. Mitch Hanniger, Bowman Chrome rookie. I like that. Cattell Marte. I like that too. I think this is what archives looked like one year. I think that's the product. Um, Danny V. Mitch Hanager again and again. So Orlando Arcia. I think Orlando Arcia still has a, a career ahead of him. I think he's going to be in the league for a, a while. Martin Maldonado. He's still relevant. Keon Bronxton. Let's see. Dodgers again. Urias, rookie debut. Kenta Maeda, flagship. A bunch of future stars. Jock Peterson. Kenta Maeda, pink. That's pretty cool. Kenta Maeda had a really good year with the Twins, so maybe I should contemplate selling his stuff, too. Like, I'm at a point in my collecting now, like, 
if I don't PC a player, I'm fine selling. Like, I'm trying to sell at the peak for every player I don't collect. Kyle Schwarber prospect card. Look at that. It's a young Kyle Schwarber there. Ian Happ out of Gold Label Class 2. So, that's not bad. A little short, shorter print, I should say. Jorge Soler out of Draft Picks. Reds. Oh, sweet. I need to pull this out. I collect Nick Senzel. So we got the paper version of his Bowman's first. I honestly did not know I had that card. So that's kind of cool. Um, that's about it for this page. <laughs> a lot of no names. Uh, this would have been a cool card if it was a rookie card. Todd Frazier, but it's just the rookie debut. So, or a uh, rookie cup. My bad. Peter O'Brien opening day. That's a guy I thought that was going to be better too. That dude had freaky power when he got brought up for the D-backs the first time. Look at that. I like that card a lot. Jazz Chisholm, Bowman Chrome first. I'm really happy with that actually. I'm sad that we traded him to the Marlins, but we got Zach Gallon back for him. So I thought it was a great trade for both teams. I think Jazz has a future in the MLB. Like he needs to get a little bit better at hitting in general. The dude has a lot of power for his size because he's a small dude and he hits like I think he hit 20 home runs his last full season in the minors. Like, it's pretty nuts. Or, like, 25 even. Archie Bradley flagship. That actually looks really clean. That looks really nice. I thought he was going to have a better career. He looks like he's back on pace doing good things. But at one point, I thought Archie Bradley was going to be, like, the, the next big thing out of the bullpen. There was one year, I think 2018. That year, he's, like, unhittable for the D-backs. It was a lot of fun. Drew Smiley Prism rookie card, right? blank page drew smiley prism rookie card michael fulmer flagship that's another guy that was like so good when he first came up and now he's like kind of irrelevant matt boyd future stars again so many non-rookie cards in this binder i just i for whatever reason i thought future stars cards were like this is a rookie card or before a rookie card i don't know why future stars is like usually a second year for whatever reason I don't even know who that is. Jacoby Jones, Topps Chrome, not bad at all. I hope he gets to get back to where he was last year because he was doing really great before he got hurt. Christian Arroyo, I remember in 2017, he was super hyped. Brandon Belt, Topps Chrome flagship, or is that an insert? No, that's legit, out of 2011. That's kind of cool. I mean, Brandon Belt's nothing special, but as far as the Giants go, he's one of the better players the last decade pretty much since he's been on that team forever it feels like at least Kyle Freeland out of Heritage David Dahl Tapia Herman Marquez the Rockies have a lot of relevant players I rarely wish you could see some of these players play in other parks awesome really cool Luis Severino flagship I like that a lot I Luis Severino honestly like one of the best pitchers in the MLB when he's healthy just got Tommy John. I'm excited. He uh, he posted it on Twitter the other day that, like, it was like a video basically of like a bomb hitting a building. It was like me throwing after Tommy John. So apparently his, his arm feels pretty good. Like he feels like he can blow up a building if that makes sense. So he feels pretty good. <laughs> Greg Bird thought he was gonna be better. Tyler Austin flagship. Some Astros. Tiasco Hernandez. Tyler White. Pink, he's still in the league. I can't remember what team he's on now. I can't remember. I'm not sure who this is. Miguel Angel Sierra, Bowman Chrome first. Miguel Sano. I don't even know what parallel this is. Chris Herman. I only know him because he played on the D-backs. He's never relevant. But it's like a purple parallel. That's kind of cool. Trevor May rookie card. Legendary player right there Trevor May super relevant on social media and he's like a, a video game streamer too so I watch his stuff a bunch he's a really nice guy Miguel Sano again some Royals wait some Rangers first this is where we're starting to get into the the half teams um Delino De Shields future stars but nothing really for that page Royals, Miguel Monte rookie card, Trevor, Terrence Gore, and I say Trevor, Terrence Gore, flagship, that dude can fly, not worth nothing, but that dude can fly, that dude is super fast, some Padre stuff, I always get excited when I see farm systems that are just nuts, Jorge Ona, Bowman Chrome first, I don't know anything about him, but I'll look into him, I'll look into him, 
Uh, looks like we have some Red Sox on this page. Nothing worth noting. Pirates. Oh, look at this. Is this a is this a is a prospects card of Jose Bautista from 2002. That's kind of a dope card to be honest. Like that's actually really cool looking. Awesome. Tyler Glass now, uh, Optic Hollow. Love to see that. I'm telling you guys, Tyler Glasnow, and they broke him down a lot on MLB Network this year. The dude just throws. Like, if you ever watch him pitch, and Mike Zunino, their catcher, he lines up straight down the middle, and he just lets Tyler Glasnow throw. Like, he doesn't aim. If Tyler Glasnow ever develops, like, location, like, I can actually locate my pitches and throw them where I want them to, the dude's going to be the best pitcher in the MLB. The dude stuff is so freaking nasty, it's disgusting. We'll see if he ever learns that because he definitely leaves stuff over the plate because he just, like I said, he just throws. He doesn't aim. He doesn't do anything. His stuff's that good to where he, the catcher lines up down the middle and he throws it. Like, and wherever it ends up, it ends up. So if he ever learns location, that dude's going to be absolutely insane. Some Braves we have. Oh, what the heck? Look at this. This is a prospect card out of Optic. This is Ozzy Albies. I didn't know this was his real name. Ozino? Is that how you say that? Ozino? Wow, I did not know that at all. That makes sense, I guess. Because not a lot of people would name their kid Ozzy, but wow, I, I didn't know that. That's new to me. That's really cool. I like that. Um, Malik Smith, flagship, Dansby Swanson out of Optic. He had to come back here. Some White Sox, another farm system I always get excited about. Looks like we have the second year Future Stars Rookie Cup. Jose Abreu. Jamison Fisher, Bowman Chrome first. My, Moncada Bowman's rookie card. Carson Fulmer, disappointment. <laughs> Haddison Reed, he sucks. Jordan Guerrero, paper. Bowman, I don't know anything about him. Luis Alexander Bazabe. I think he's still relevant in their farm system. I'll have to look. I don't know how relevant, but that name sounds familiar to me. He, I don't think he's one of their top prospects. I think he's still relevant. Thomas Nito, Bowman Chrome first. He kind of He did kind of good this year, didn't he? Like, I think he uh, got a lot more playing time this year because of it. Some Conforto out of draft picks. So we got some Expos, two Expos. Cliff Floyd, is this a rookie card? On this, his stats say he's only played 10 games, so I don't know if that's his rookie card or not. You guys will have to let me know on that. Some Cardinal stuff. Swung one O. Oh, I thought he was going to be a lot better, too. Alex Reyes, Luke Weaver. Again, two two pitchers I still like. Colton Wong, rookie cup, but not worth nothing. Some Yankee stuff here. Jordan Montgomery still relevant. Twice. I think that's about it. Luis Sessa still plays, but he isn't worth nothing. I would have been really excited if this was his rookie cards, but two JT Romuto rookie cups. Still cool, I guess. Um, Ramiel Tapia, John Gray, still relevant, David Dahl. I really like Diamond Kings in, I think that's 2017. Yeah, Diamond Kings looked really cool that year. See if we can move a little bit faster here. Draft picks, Matt Chapman, Jarrell Cotton. Again, never really turned out. Matt Olson, rookie card out of Heritage. Probably the most relevant ace player I've seen so far. This is cool. Some more Dodgers. we got a Puig flagship probably should have sold that after his rookie year if i collected then Corey seager rookie cards from the home run derby that year so like probably out of update Corey seager again i like that card that looks pretty cool julio urias flagship again so i'm confused now we have this one and we have this one what products are these out of oh that's update that's his update rookie so he has an update rookie as well I had to look into that. And then there's that one. Austin Barnes, ASU. Forks up. Aaron Author. About it there. We're almost done. Jorge Lopez. Keon Bronxton, flagship twice. Zach Davies, rookie card. Played against him in high school. Billy Hamilton, rookie cup. Scott Shebler, rookie card. Jose Peraza. I thought Peraza would be a lot better, to be honest. He's still a good player, but I thought he'd be better. Yazel Antuna, Bowman, Chrome first. Trey Turner, rookie card. He just had an insane year. 
Maybe I should start thinking about selling Trey Turner. I don't know. I don't know where Trey Turner's career is going to go, to be honest. Sean Reed Foley. Wow, without his glasses. And it's a silver. Interesting. Blake Snell. We have a lot of Blake Snell rookie debuts. Insane. Evan Longoria rookie card. Look at that. Dang. Is this out of 2008? It looks like Kershaw's year. Oh, this is fake news. Gosh dang it. Blake Snell actual flagship, though, right there. So we actually have one Blake Snell. That's cool. Uh, that Evan Longoria was an insert. That's disappointing. Ian Happ, Jorge Soler flagship, Albert Amora. He kind of fell off a little bit. Taiwan Walker flagship, still relevant. Trevor Bauer, Prism rookie card. That's cool, actually. With the year he just had, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. We're almost done here. Max Fried, Bowman Chrome, but nothing special. Back to back, Bowman Chrome, Max Freeds. Um. Some Brewer stuff, nothing relevant. Jordan Montgomery, like that magenta optic ref refractor from the first video when we had the Renato Nunez. Kind of cool. Some twins. Luke Weaver, magenta again. That centered really well. I like that. Chris Paddock, Bowman Chrome first. That's cool. I actually really like that. That's nice. That's a cool find. And then we're pretty much done here, I think. Well, I guess we'll have to keep going. Mankata Optic rookie. I like that. Cole Tucker twice. Played against him for a very long time. Played against him since middle school. Renato Nunez. Austin Hayes Bowman Chrome first. I like that. He's relevant. G-Man Choi flagship. And I think that is it. Gotta love ending on the G-Man Choi rookie card though. <laughs> if you don't like G-Man Choi, you got problems. That dude just seems like a bunch of fun yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video let me know what you guys think i i was actually really happy with this video so we found a lot of bowman stuff that i did not expect very cool very happy with that a lot of relevant rookie cards that is it that is every one of my rookie cards now that is not in like a pc box unreal we'll have to do this again if i'm still creating content in like five years i'll have to start a new box of rookie cards and go through all those or maybe we'll go through all these again because it'll be like we haven't seen them ever before but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel minor league monday will be back next monday you guys have a great rest of your day see ya